Hello everyone, my name is Uthers, and welcome back to Medieval Engineers, where we're working on, as always, our floating islands, and the kingdom of something, I don't know the name of it still. I'm particular to Bra Bridgehaven, uh, but it sounds like there's not quite a consistency with the community, so until there is, I feel like holding off on giving this a final name. So, last episode, we worked on the granary and the windmill I copied over from the Citadel build. And uh, I opened up this back area for the windmill so we can actually continue on through to the windmill. I, I said I opened up the back area when I actually meant this is the granary. I opened up the back of the granary, continue the path forward to the actual windmill. There we go. That's correct. Man. Uh, we have a little bit of a yard constructed around the windmill as well. So we have a few utility, I guess, uh, sheds, you could say. That's what these are, sheds. And we have a well. And we will be moving on from this little island because it's, it's nice and quaint seem to have come together fairly nice and we're going on our merry way to the next island and so you can leave the commerce district and start heading back this way through some more transitional phases into the next part of the town so I might have to end up adding a couple islands as well out here just to connect bridges to oh boy I added these king statues to the outside of the commerce district. I like how it looks. I think it looks pretty cool uh, doing stuff like this every so often. Just a little bit more detail here and there. King statues, you don't want to try and overdo them because I think they, they get a little old. If there's a little bit more variation in them, uh, that would be awesome. But for now, this is pretty much what we got. So let's go ahead and start working on this structure. This structure is going to be pretty sure the main tavern slash inn of the town. Or city, I guess, at this point. So let's see. I'm already kind of planning out our walls and where the windows are going to be, as always. So double window here would look fine. And then over here, I can do this, I think. Do something a little bit different. Okay, everything else is going to be wall. And it's going to have a first floor made out of stone uh, in some area. Uh, when we start getting into the upper section, it will be made out of stone as well. And then it will transition to the plaster, as always, as we get into the more upper areas of the tavern. Come on. There we go. Click that in there. And come on. It is a fairly large structure. It's taking up pretty much this whole island, but I figure we have a large enough population or visitors to warrant a very large tavern and restaurant area. So that's why we're we're gonna take up a whole lot of room here and getting this all straightened out. So there we go. This area is gonna be kind of the base restaurant, so it's gonna be a lot of seating. There'll be the bar kind of nestled away right here and then just rest seating. And then I guess we need a kitchen area, which can be represented over here. Just fine. And then we're going to continue this hallway all the way down. And this will be connecting to the back staircase. Yeah, that ain't bad. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and throw in a door, of course. 
Do I have wood floor? I do have wood floor on my hotbar for once. And we'll just drag this out. Now it's going to use the same kind of outer stonework as the shops and things. So it's going to have these wooden supports and then kind of this cutaway stonework to give extra strength to it and a little bit more of a detail. I'm gonna try and change the lighting here just so it's something we can see a little bit better. And the road does curve. In fact, I'm going to need a small grassy area here because, you know, if I could plant flowers, I would. This would be like a flower bed or something. Something like that. Let's go ahead and throw down some pillars to mark the pathway along the road. Now luckily this is going to come together I think fairly quickly just because I think I've had my fair amount of practice for a tavern doing the normal Let's Build series and then uh, I mean La Floria has a tavern as well so I feel like I'm fairly well versed in how these things look at this point. There we go, and I also need to put the pillar here. Well, unless it doesn't want me to, which is a problem. Why don't you want me to do this? Can I get rid of you? Yes. Put you back? Yep. One of those weird things. And then again, you know, we have our physics enabled bridge. So I think with the last optimization given this week things have improved a decent amount uh, it's definitely still not perfect but it's definitely better than what it was a little bit ago I don't think there's anything I can do well I can do that that looks okay I'm trying to come up with ways to kind of leave some wood exposed every now and then It looks like really only these larger areas are going to get the privilege of that. So we'll do that. And then we need these triangles to bring it down. There we go. Looks okay. Same thing here. I think I'm going to use the slope on this one. Good to mix it up. This one we will use the steps. Accidentally deleted a window like a noob. Just plop that back of there. Uh, this one I guess we had to use the triangle again. To just tough out that area. All right. And luckily, you know, all all these island shapes are never really final. So even if we have these overhangs here, there are ways to tie it into the island. You can one expand the island a little bit just so it fits flat and then do something else to make it look a little bit more jagged. So it's not a big deal that we have those there. Now maybe if I was building with structural integrity on, it would be a problem. But right now, no, not an issue. Fine with leaving, ah well, you know. I think it, it just makes it look more like a planter if it has that border there. Kind of wish I had like a fountain to put there as well, but we don't. We do not. There's just not enough decoration pieces. And the workshop hasn't really 
gained many, if anything, since I last checked it. So that's sadly not going anywhere at this time. Put the floor in. There we go. Wish we had more floors because this cobblestone, it looks decent for sure. Uh, you know, very nice. But variation is always good. I kind of want a tile floor or a mosaic floor. Floor or more of a solid brick pattern rather than cobble so I just can't wait till more textures I don't know why they can't just retexture these and add more don't know why at all so this is going to be a fairly restated a fairly large structure fact get rid of these real quick because I'm not thinking straight I'm gonna put the door a door here we'll do a back balcony at that section I think that'll look pretty cool okay let's go ahead and drop our staircase in Need our wooden supports, followed by the staircase, which fits fairly nice there. So I kind of want to make it actually fit nice and tight. So I'll put a wall there. Okay. I guess that means I could technically get rid of this section here, move things around fiddle with it until I annoy everyone it's just you guys tell me to stop fiddling with it and then I move on so yeah nice connecting hallway one to the kitchen this is gonna be a lower set of rooms I guess or just more dining area hmm I don't know I don't know I don't know but we are about 12 minutes in, so I'm gonna at least finish laying out some more of this ground floor here. So to do that, we'll just plop down some wooden supports for a small little porch. Let's see, is there any way I wanna try and drag a porch out from this location as well? Uh, would it make sense to have porch there you know I don't see why not more layers more details uh, the better all right come on there we go so there's a porch and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much finish up this structure off camera uh, though there's a lot kind of going on with it in my head and I don't really want to make this last six hours to build trying to explain everything as we go so I might come back talk about how it went at the end and I'll see you guys here in a second alright everyone so after a while this is the finished shell of our uh, bar in and restaurant so i go ahead and show the inside let me grab a torch because it's pretty dark in there it's just a whole bunch of empty rooms at the moment there's really not much i can do about that I'm trying to keep the lag down after all so this section here this first wide open section this is the bar and you know there would be like a bar here uh some high stools and tables and things of that nature scattered throughout and so this is where people would be coming to hang out and have a drink it also has a back patio that is uncovered and so people can have a good time out there and then through this hallway we have on the left this is the room set aside for the restaurant and so this would just be tables and chairs mainly and then also an outside eating area that is partially covered 
and nice and safe. So, yeah, it looks... This whole thing, just beautiful views, uh, just like the rest of the build and everything like that. Like, you know, looking out this window to the Commerce District is very nice. And then if we walk on over here, this would be the kitchen. Uh, except for it's missing a floor tile for no reason. There we go. So yeah, this would be the kitchen. This would be one of the ovens. I don't know why I'm missing a floor tile here either, but I can fix that. So yeah, kitchen. Not much to say about that one. At least not yet. Missing a whole bunch of detail. Seems to be the story of my life at this point. Now the upper floor, this is where we start getting into rooms. So this is kind of a multi-person room for sure. It's big enough for multiple beds, tables, uh, dressers, things of that nature. So maybe a family of four could sleep in there. This way we have just a single room followed by another single room over here. Uh, that's for some reason not in place. I need to fix that. So everything over here got, I guess, shifted around a little bit when I was working on another section. This is just a linen closet of some kind, uh, just empty space. And this is the other small room. And then if we head this way, we have a, another large kind of multi-roomed uh, space. It could be easily divided up into more rooms. I love the roof of this, how it goes from a high to a lower spot and then just balcony with a wonderful view. This is definitely a higher end room that you can have. Then we go over here and up another flight of stairs. And we have the largest set of rooms. So, you know, they have their own living room, multiple bedrooms, plenty of open space to run around and this room actually has two sets of balconies for people to enjoy uh, even more landscape so yeah you have a nice view of the windmill out there very serene very nice uh, relaxing place to be let's just work our way back down real quick give you a oh boy I'm getting lost uh, this way this way this way all right feels like I'm playing the Citadel map a little bit and back out into the wonderful sunlight all right and so this pretty much does it for this island I mean we used most of it just for a single building which is pretty impressive it's a very large structure uh, we could fit definitely a whole lot of beds if you know I felt like adding more rooms and things but for now uh, you know from the outside it looks fairly nice so Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more gaming goodness. And go ahead and check out my other videos, such as uh, TerraCraft or uh, Timber and Stone, where we're building another magnificent city there. And follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.